Hi, brothers and sisters. I wanted to come to you today and talk about a dream that I had on, let me see, November 20th. And uh, I think you'll find it very encouraging. I hope that you will pray about it and ask confirmation of the Lord and uh, use your discretion and discernment in listening to this dream. And Lord Jesus, I pray that you will cover this video with your blood and reach those that need to be reached with this video and thank you Jesus. So in the dream uh, I'm just gonna have my notebook here in front of me so um, even though I remember it fairly well I just don't want to forget any parts of it. So in the dream I saw uh, a guy pass by me and Somehow he ended up in some water and he had long grasses all over himself. So I called out to him with uh, encouraging words and he rose up and got out of the water. He came over to me and we were talking. And as we were talking, I noticed something unusual. Uh, letters were being written on his forehead. And the letters were Hebrew letters. And, uh, and they were being etched into his forehead. <laughs> and then he somehow became distant from me. And he was surrounded with light. And he, he was inside a large circular wheel. Um, I was at the dollar store the other day and they make these um, helium balloons. They fill them and then there's this uh, round thing at the top of the ceiling with about, you know, an, a ledge like so many feet deep that the balloons can go up. And um, it just reminded me of the same circular pattern and it had walls, but it was mesh. It wasn't like a solid wall all around the fellow. So <laughs> continuing on, um, and he was inside that wheel and the light blasted all through him. It was like it was from the inside spreading out. When he came out of the wheel thing, he was glowing. His skin was shiny and he looked younger. And I was trying to figure out the lettering on his forehead, but I was told that I didn't need to know that right now. So I left it alone. And then, um, <laughs> at first it was only me and him in the dream, and then there was a whole bunch of people around me. And some of the people were transformed just like this fellow. And they had the same glow about them and their skin was shiny. And then um, it seemed like I was in a group of people. It was like um, like a banquet hall or something. There was lots of tables and people sitting around the table. And I was sitting with someone and um, there was a group of the transformed people gathered in front of the tables, uh, kind of like in rows. and. Um, they started to sing and I found myself that I knew the words to the song and I was singing along with them and that I wanted to go join them. I knew I belonged to them and the person I was sitting with didn't want to let me go but finally I did get away from that person. I don't know who the person was but <laughs> I did get away from that person and joined the others. Everyone seemed to be in evening attire, like the ladies were in long gowns, and um, I'm not sure of the men. I guess I was just focused on the ladies because I was admiring their uh, beautiful gowns. And uh, and then I went over and I was, I saw some children singing, and they were all along the stairs, like going up. Um, kind of like, um, I'm not sure how to explain it, just they were on the stairs. And um, 
then I was looking for my daughter and I saw my daughter come in and she was in a beautiful white ball gown with pale green trim and she had her hair cut short and she looked like she was 22. She's almost 40, so um, yeah, it was a really exciting, encouraging dream. That was the end of the dream. And it made me think of uh, the verses in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 52, where it talks about that we will all be changed in the twinkling of an eye. And I'll just read it to you. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51, 52, 53. I'll just read it to the end of 51 to 58. So behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruptible, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So that's what the verses of the dream made me think of, like, in a twinkling of an eye, we will all be changed. So I hope this was an encouragement to you. I hope that you keep looking up to Jesus, that you keep hanging on because he's coming soon. So uh, do not lose heart and um, I hope to see you in the clouds. And if anyone doesn't know Jesus and you want to know him, I, I ask that you seek him out now and um, look to him and find comfort in him. Ask him to be your Lord and Savior and he will save you and give you a new heart. And um, don't wait. <laughs> don't wait. The time is now. You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Do it today. Be blessed, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.